Hey guys, Sean Sewell with Engimit.com and this is a Rock Pals 330 watt charger and 100 watt solar panel kit. It's around $450 to $480 depending on the day and coupon codes. And I believe I have a coupon code I'll be able to put into this video here in a moment. Basically what this is, is a kind of an all-inclusive solar panel and charging station for light to medium use. The reason I purchased this kit was to recharge my cameras and laptops when I'm out here in the mountains in Colorado filming fitness videos and gear reviews. And I've had it since end of May and is now almost October. So I've had a lot of use with it. And you can tell it's very dirty and dusty. It's traveled with me to all parts of the country and uh, spent a lot of time in the mountains. So I have a strong opinion on it and I will tell you some features about it. So first, right off the bat, it's very easy to use. I'm new to solar. I consulted with a, a few people in the industry to figure out like how to convert uh, latitude to hours of time it would take to charge devices and stuff. And if I can get to it, I'll put that um, link in the description below on how you can kind of quantify and figure out how much sun you need to charge a certain amount of wattage to get to here and how much power this will power your devices. What I have found is this easily charges my uh, 15 inch MacBook Pro and uh, GoPro and maybe another camera with a, a, a full charge of this. You can charge it with the solar panel, which I'll open up in a second. You can charge it in your vehicle via the DC port right here. You can also charge it at home. Um, I believe on average like five or six hours at home or six or seven in the car. And here in Colorado, as you see, we get a lot of sun. Uh, right now we're at about 10,500 feet, so about two miles high. At home, one mile high. I, I think the fastest I ever got to charge on a sunny day was five and a half hours, which is pretty impressive. So um, I don't claim that you'll get that where you live. It might be as much as eight or nine hours, but who knows? So basically on the unit right here, it's really an actually pretty attractive little device. You can put your phone on here if you have a Q charger, and it'll charge right there. You can charge your AC device. You can charge up to three USB devices, 3.0 even. Um, you can also charge uh, DC as well. And so you just you turn it on right here. What are we at? We're at 78%. There's a little indicator right there. Um, I'll put a picture if it doesn't show up in the video. And then you would choose which one you want to use. Oftentimes I'm doing either AC or USB, and then plug it in. You can even have a Type-C right there. Um, there's also a light as well. So there you go, a little light. I mean, I wouldn't count on it for too much, but it is there. How this works. Let's get into the cool part. So whoosh, two clips right here. Open this guy up. Boom, boom. This is a really good looking kit. There is your solar panel. So um, I found that either at an angle like this or flat works pretty good. So you can mount it on the top of your rooftop tent or on the trunk of my hood. Um, I try and keep it out the ground just so my dogs don't jump on it. Um, it's seen a lot of use, hasn't broken yet. All right, on the other side is a zipper here. And this is where all the goodies are at. All the connectors and doodads. So, open it up a little bit more to show you. Here, here's the cables. So this plugs in to the unit to charge it. And here is also, you can plug in some USBs right here to charge off of the panel at the same time. All right, he's a big guy. He's a big one. All right, so I'm gonna plug him into here, like so. And there we go. We are drawing 38, 40, 42, 44, 45, 48, 52, 52 watts right now. And it is four o'clock and the sun will be setting in about two hours. So to give you an idea of real time use, you saw me unpack it. We are drawing the 52 watts at 10,500 feet at 4 p.m. So maximum wattage you're gonna get, you know, midday uh, and better <laughs> setup than I have currently. The sun is actually over there. So let's see if I get up higher. This is a real, real world test. Oh yeah. 52 consistently 
yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. So 52 watts. Um, yeah, it'd probably take like seven or eight hours to charge this up, which is, you know, put it out for the day, go adventure. Also, I could probably clean it off a little bit. That'd probably help out. Anyways, uh, this is a really rough and, and uh, bare bones review, but it's a real world review. This is where I use this. This is how I use it. And this is how easy it is to use. It does come with adapters. Uh, so different panels and different charging stations, even within their own lineup, will have different cables. And so this is the, what's attached to this. And there's about a dozen different a little adapters right here that you would put on there to fit your specific device. That was Riley, he says hello. So I think it's a pretty essential kit for anybody um, for preparedness, especially the last six months. Um, anybody to keep at home in case power goes out. Everybody gets power outages from here and here and there. And overlanding, camping, uh, anybody. It's a good investment, it's 450 bucks. It's very durable. It's lived in my truck and seen a lot of use, like I said. And you see my other reviews, I'm pretty hard on my stuff. So um, solid investment. If I do have a coupon code, which I think I do, I'll put that here below. If not, uh, it goes on sale from time to time. $450, pretty fair investment. There's other ones in our lineup we're working on reviews for as well, but this is my favorite, so I'm doing this one first. Again, 330 watts, 100 watt panel. They play together very nicely in this bundle. And I'll have links below where to purchase. This is Sean Sewell from engagement.com. Hope you found this helpful and take care.